Steve, a 1-1 draw today in St Albans. What was your thoughts on the game today? Well, I thought first, the first 45 minutes, I thought a bit of a basketball match, as in end-to-end, -end, both sides looked dangerous going forward. Opportunities created both ends, but uh, I think got in at half-time, Gaffer tweaked it slightly, made one or two changes and I thought we were value second half but without creating too much so all in all probably fair to fair result. Yep. Um, we say it was a bit of a we had chances but then again so did St Albans. Yes. Would you say we, we maybe could have done a bit better to stop them scoring and getting back into the game we could have had and we had a few chances in the first half that we could have been two goals three ahead? Yeah we could have been but as I say that's football whereupon if you don't execute and your opponents do, then you're going to lose football matches. I don't think either team executes as consequently. That's why we ended up being 1-1. But uh, I thought second half, we were value for money in the sense that we dominated the ball. They had a spell for 10 minutes just after half time. But no, as I say, we went up a level and I thought could have edged it, but a draw is a fair result. Yeah. And there was a start for Josh Johnson, who's come in online from Oxford. What did you make of him today and what does he bring to the side? Well, he brings energy, he brings enthusiasm, but I don't think he's played competitively for a while, but you can see what's coming. Um, I think he's a good player. As I say, just fitness and he should be OK. Yeah, and he's, we've brought in quite a few young players from you know, the top side. Has that been like a conscious effort to maybe bring the, you know, the average age down? It's a much more younger and energetic squad now than it was at the start of the season. Yeah, I think the gaffer, he will play anybody. If you're old enough, you're good enough. Or, um, so he hasn't got a problem playing youngsters. And he'll, you know, he's taken a chance on two or three. And I don't think they've let us down at all. They've been superb. Sammy at the back, Marvin been superb run out of legs a bit today but uh, the gaffer's got no fears in playing youngsters if they're good enough and it's a club that you know well St Albans you've worked here for the last few years what's it been like coming back today well I, I have to say it's not about me but everybody here greeted me uh, chairman's just been over to have a chat with me fantastic people here I was here for a couple of years we turned it round when they were struggling uh, we lost what three games in 35 over consecutive period but um, no I got the call from Douse to become a dart it was a no-brainer and here we are Brilliant. and now Slough Tuesday you know it's gonna be a tough going there on a Tuesday night away but w what what are the side expecting from that oh well, all we can do is we know that it's opportunity knocks again another 90 minutes and I know for a fact that group in there have worked so hard and they'll go they'll go to Slough on Tuesday and work hard again. It's in their sort of makeup, in their DNA, and they're buying into what the management team are doing and I you know, we just got we can't look too far, far forward, Fred. So Tuesday night Slough, we'll be there, you'll be there probably too. Ninety minutes what's in front of us, that's all we can affect. Brilliant. Thank you, Steve. You're welcome, Fred. Come on you darts. <laughs>